because like you guys go back to the martial arts world before you were movie stars, right? I mean, he was like a, a champion somewhere, and right? I mean, I think that that's a matter of opinion that he was a champion anywhere. There are an awful lot of people who say that that's not true. Jean Claude Van Damme has never, to my knowledge, even had one pro kickboxing match. You may be able to help solve a mystery. I can do it. Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk about Jean-Claude Van Damme's fight record. There's been a lot of controversy going on over the years as to whether he was ever a karate or kickboxing champ prior to him becoming a movie star. Steven still talked about this on the Arsenio Hall show all the way back in the 90s, and Don the Dragon Wilson still talks about it today. This video, which will finally attempt to add clarity on the situation, was inspired by a conversation I had with Bay Logan, He's done extensive research on Van Damme, writing articles and even a book in the mid-90s. So make sure to stay until the end of the video to not only hear what he has to say, but also a surprise guest who worked with Van Damme on one of his classic films from the 90s. But before all of that, let's talk about why Van Damme's fight record seemingly even mattered at the time, and also we'll talk about some of the actual claims. Anyway, make sure to help support the channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, sharing the video. In the 80s and 90s, it was important to have a guy who was considered legitimate as far as martial arts prowess goes. It just seemed very important for the marketing of movies at the time. There was a certain mystique around martial arts and martial arts stars that seemed to fascinate the general public, who in some ways were sold on the premise that the guys in the movies were the real deal, that they could do that stuff outside of the movies. Michael Jai White even spoke about this. Like a lot of action people, stars or you know martial arts stars, I benefit by the belief that martial arts heroes can beat a whole slew of people. I benefit. Outside of martial arts circles, kickboxing and karate tournaments weren't exactly popular. They weren't nationally televised. I mean, outside of movies and magazines such as Black Belt, you just weren't exposed to martial artists, unlike today with the popularity of MMA, the UFC in particular. In order to market these martial arts stars in such a way, there needed to be some sort of criteria to legitimize their greatness. Whether that be by having a black belt in a certain style, even a multiple dan such as Steven Seagal and Aikido, or various black belts in different styles, which Michael Jai White likes to tout. Uh, how, many, how many different disciplines are you doing of uh, martial arts? Well, I have eight black belts now. So... No, are you serious? Mm -hmm. Eight? Mm -hmm. Competition would obviously add further legitimacy. For example, Chuck Norris was marketed as the karate champ, Don the Dragon Wilson as a kickboxing champ. It should be no surprise then that the studios themselves had a vested interest in this. For example, just by renting movies back in the 1990s, I was made acutely aware that Gary Daniels was a British kickboxing champion. Martial arts instructors themselves outside of movies even tried to hype themselves up in order to get more students interested in learning from them, such as Frank Dukes, for example, talking about the extreme form of competition he participated in. That's why they call this thing Bloodsport Kid. Because movies were really the only platform for a martial artist to show his or her skills, it only seemed fitting that the audience would want to see actual martial artists in these films, myself included. As far as Van Damme and his so-called fight record is concerned, I think a lot of the confusion originally stemmed from the fact that Van Damme fought under his actual birth name, Jean-Claude Van Varenberg. He would actually change his name to Van Damme later on, which I'm sure helped his film career as it sounds way cooler. Uh, it's interesting, the reason he's called Van Damme is um, because of a familiar relationship with uh, like an elderly uncle figure who's a textile guy, who's still around actually. Uh, I know his um, uh, son, who claims to be the nephew of Jean-Claude Van Damme, who would claim to be such a thing that was not. But I mean, he's not really, he's like kind of, mm -hmm. but in, 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 a, in a Chinese familial way, yes, because we call everybody uncle and auntie, you know, okay. he's older. But um, he uh, took on the name Van Damme from somebody in Hong Kong who was a textile manufacturer. Like, okay, he's my family. It's worth pointing out that the Johnny Cage character from Mortal Kombat was inspired by Jean-Claude Van Damme, the character of Johnny Cage, like Van Damme himself, has the background of being a martial arts action movie star who people claim is actually a fraud. I see the uh, press is still giving you a hard time, and yeah, I think I'm a fake. Now, if you go to Wikipedia, there's a little section on Van Damme's fight record controversy, which also talks about the lawsuit Frank Dukes had against Van Damme over co-writing and consultation work Dukes did on the film The Quest. Wikipedia says, 
According to the lawsuit, Dukes also accused Van Damme of lying to the public about his martial arts fight record, stating that when Dukes tutored Van Damme while Van Damme was laying carpet for a living, Van Damme exhibited a lack of martial arts skill. Van Damme's lawyer Martin Singer responded, There are records that document his martial arts acclaim. Why, just look at his movies. He didn't get those roles on his acting ability. It is the truth. He's the one who did those splits on chairs. He doesn't have a stuntman do that. That hurts me just looking at it. It should be worth pointing out that Van Damme did shoot No Retreat, No Surrender prior to ever meeting Frank Dukes and working with him on Bloodsport. Long story short, Van Damme looks pretty damn impressive prior to Bloodsport. If you guys go to Van Damme's Wikipedia page, you'll see it's pretty extensive covering the competition. So for example, the semi-contact slash light contact record, you got all these opponents, you got the dates, you got the notes, the locations, etc. Van Damme obviously won the majority of these fights. A couple losses here and there. But this is way too extensive. Like, it's highly doubtful somebody just made this stuff up. This is likely legit, no question. Now, when you get to the kickboxing record, this is what people like Don the Dragon Wilson have a problem with. John Claude Van Damme has never, to my knowledge, even had one pro kickboxing match. Oh, but he yeah. lies and he says... Oh, I'm, I'm 18 and 1, and I'm world a former champion. European world champion. This is more likely referring to full contact karate, basically any format of karate where competitions, they spar full contact and allow a knockout as a winning criterion. And if you look at the method, Van Damme pretty much won all these by knockout more or less. The one loss he does have is a disqualification. But again, you have all the different names. You got the countries where these guys are from. You got the events, the rounds, the times, uh, locations even notes so i don't think like he necessarily probably had boxing gloves on like the type of kickboxing matches that don the dragon wilson would have had for example but these are pretty probably hardcore fights if you think about it especially in the late 70s early 80s so i'm pretty sure van damme like is quote legit as far as like his fight record goes. In this 1983 interview, John claude Van Damme explains full contact. He said, it's another form of karate which is practiced with hand gloves and feet gloves. It's a karate that is performed in a ring where we calculate the points or we win by knockout. So it's called American Boxing from USA. Now, obviously there's a translation issue going on there because what they're doing is not exactly American Boxing from the USA. Oh, here, here's a, a quick thing too on Van Damme real quick because you mentioned, um, I think you wrote an article about him like some some british publication like researching van damme did you um did you ever research or find out anything about his so-called kickboxing record he had back in europe yeah he was a champion in um well there was a misapprehension i mean it was basically i think what we call point karate but it was called kickboxing in europe at the time whereas in america kickboxing was only when you fought in the ring to a knockout. Mm -hmm. And when John claude was fighting, it was more what, what we would call point karate, okay. but it was called kickboxing. And I'm trying to remember why. And it was somebody had copyrighted the name, I think box American is the actual French term for kickboxing, but that had been copyrighted by somebody. So they had to call it kickboxing. So when John claude came to America, um, and talked about his bona fides as a champion. He was like, well, I was a kickboxing champion, which in the context of European martial arts at that time, he was, okay. but it was like tomato, tomato, you know, it was, and I think when, when, if anybody knew it was like, yeah, well, it actually serves our interests. Like we're making a movie about the guy and he's playing a kickboxer. If we say he's a kickboxer. I want to go. Yeah. The people like John Wilson took umbrage at sure. the claim, but I think it was initially innocent because that's what it said on John Claude's resume. I was the champion two years running in the middleweight division, champion de monde uh, for kickboxing, which he was. Yeah. Um, and then there was a misapprehension, but I don't think anybody rushed to correct it. So maybe <laughs> that's where you yeah. might. Yeah. But no, he definitely competed. And, and, and was successful. I mean, he had a fantastic reach. To this day, he does. Very fast legs. Um, very good flexibility. Um, and you no, know, that's what he used back when he was fighting 
and doing these very fast and he would do these you know score points on people and he would win and then he became a champion um yeah hey guys i also recently had the pleasure of speaking with jeff linkton over the phone he of course played sonny from lionheart you'd recognize him he's a uh, actor stuntman taekwondo hall of famer so really cool guy but uh had him try to shed a little more light on this whole Van Dam fight situation, and here's what he had to say. I mean, it's on Wikipedia. He's supposedly like 18 and one, I believe, with a bunch of knockouts. But essentially, I'm trying to find the truth of his fight record. If you if you want to know about Jean Claude, this is what his trainer told me. He was a a, a point karate fighter, okay, and he had a lot of matches in Europe. This is what he did, and I think that he had, like, you know, when you do the point karate, you know, like, I did point karate, I did a lot of tournaments, you know, I did, I mean, I was like, I did tournaments like every other weekend. Sure. And they turned out to be full contact, and then, you know, you go, you know, you go through, like, you fight five guys, you know, it's point fighting, but it's almost like full contact. Then the last one, the last one, what they would do, is that they would let you know you blast each other, you know? And, um, you know, like to, to knock out, you know, if you're gonna fight for the championship for the for grand champion or whatever, they let, you know, they let you go at it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is the way it was back in the 70s. Now, Sean Claude, I, I talked to that trainer and specifically what he told me, he says, I said, did John Claude ever fight for contact? And he said, yeah, he fought full contact karate tournaments like Koku Kinsai. You know those tournaments? Yeah. You know where you fight, but I don't think that you can hit to the head, but they do hit to the head. Sure. And then when you go there, so so that's what. But did he do? Did Jean Claude? I asked him. And I remember specifically. I said, "Did he do kickboxing in the ring?" And he he said he didn't do it. That's what that's what he told me. But you know, I'm just calling with, with that guy because you know me and Michelle and him were together. We were going to Homosa Beach to have lunch and meet some people but he was a very nice guy his trainer and he told me the truth you know okay. and um so i mean that's the best i i can recall for you david so i mean did, did he did he, he was a fighter there's no question in my mind about that was he was he uh uh like don the dragon no he was he didn't do like don the dragon i mean that's just my opinion I mean, it seems sad. like the fights were pretty hardcore, though, if people are getting knocked out. And I don't doubt that from the 70s and even early 80s, so... Of course they were. Yeah. I mean, some guy knocked me on my ass. I mean, you know, so, I mean, so what do you... When you it's point karate, it was point karate until it became full contact. But back then, the people, they, you know, they, they, they were fighting for reals. I mean, I, I mean, the guy broke my ribs, I mean you know, bloody my lip. I mean, you know, is that, is that point karate? You know, but does John Claude fight in the ring? You know, like Don the Dragon, was he, was he a rated kickboxer? I think in general, though, uh, he could be considered a legitimate fighter. I mean, even my old Kempo instructor used to say those competitions, the people, guys wouldn't pull their hits for points. They would really try to hurt the guy. I mean, even in the 90s. Oh, of course. No, of course. In, even in yeah. the 90s, my brother knocked a dude out in a taekwondo quote point tournament with a spinning hook kick so people get hurt these are kind of real fights to some degree <laughs> um so are they done the dragon wilson types fights like you said with boxing gloves in the ring uh yeah i don't think so either but i think we could still consider van damme a legit fighter and i, I wouldn't yeah, be surprised I, if he got I, quite I, a few knockouts I, I, if you're any, and you're talking to a guy that you know I, I mean i've been doing professional boxing for over you know 40 plus years, I, I've worked over 40 world title fights. You know, I mean, I train world champions, real world champions. Is Jean-Claude a real fighter? And, and my thumbs up on it. Yes, he is a real fighter. 